hello guys and welcome back to my channel today i will tell you all the tech things and accessories that you need for going back to school some people already went back to school some people are going in the next couple of days or week so like and subscribe and we know for interaction let's get into the video okay guys it is back to school season many students go back to school no matter if you are in school or university so they have to get prepared for this day some of you might already have started school it depends on which country you're living some of you will start school so let's get prepared with all the tech that you might need so the first thing which i will recommend you is getting a good laptop this is my current laptop is lenovo it's a very good laptop i like it because compared to my last one no matter that it's by the same brand it's just way thinner it doesn't wait that much and it's a lot faster when i was using my old laptop as a current one because i didn't have another one i didn't feel it like it was so slow because that was what laptops could do by that time now when i have this the other one to me feels like a turtle and that's what you need a good lap don't look at the brand for example i'm a fan of apple but it doesn't mean that i'll get a macbook or everything other device just because i'm a fan of the brand check what the device could do for example check the capacity and every single detail which they have explained about the laptop so you know you pick the right device which you will use we will change my laptop one day i was thinking that i might get something better if i get more money of course but you need something good for example i am an it programmer so i need a faster laptop which can respond right away to all the commands which i tell them to do so you need a good device and especially if you're at university i think that laptop is needed i got one in high school because i was studying in another town and i couldn't transport the pc so laptop was an option but if i have been studying in my hometown probably wasn't going to get one because i didn't need it but now as a high school student yes i do it's way smaller than my old one i can carry it everywhere and it just it just needed to have a laptop in university no matter what you're studying because you just need it okay you need a laptop the next thing which i will recommend you is getting a tablet for example i have an ipad because i really wanted one and as i already have said probably many times i want to carry one device except of five notebooks in my backpack but the brand is not the most important it's what you will do with this device for example i only will take notes and that's why i took the 64 gigabytes because honestly i don't plan to do anything else with this device but if you're learning something for example graphic design or just doing digital drawings i have never done that you might need a better tablet no matter by the brand just to have enough storage for example i have heard that ipad pros have two terabytes of memory that's a lot but if you're doing a lot of drawing or if you're editing your videos, you need a good tablet for this. Also, some people use them as mini computers. For example, if you buy a keyboard and a mouse, you have a whole new, like, it's like a mini laptop. But I prefer to have a tablet and laptop separately because my main work, I get editing videos, writing stories and everything what I do, I do it on my laptop because... It's a bit better, I feel more comfortable, and my tablet, I will use it only for taking notes, so don't look at the brand, check out what you will use it for. For example, like drawing, taking notes, editing videos, or whatever you do. Some people might take pictures with iPad, I have, I have tried, but honestly, I feel most comfortable doing it with my phone, but it doesn't matter, just if you need an iPad, think about for what you will use it, not only to spend your money for nothing. Next, obviously, it's a phone. Many students buy new phones right before the start of the new school slash university year. And that's why I got interested by an article. It said that you should not buy new phones now. For example, the newest iPhone now on the market is the iPhone 30. But one month later, even less, less than a month, the iPhone 14 will come. So what I'm trying to say is that don't get the iphone 13 now wait for the 14 to come and the 13 will get at a better price 
or if you want to get the 40 wait for the 40 why you get the newest phone now and even like two to three weeks later you get the best of the best on the market and not only on apple literally every brand is releasing new gadgets soon so technically wait for the newest one to see what they look like and if you still think that the oldest version is better then get it at the better price that's what the article was referring to and me too i personally prefer to wait one month nothing will happen for one month my phone won't die or anything bad happen to it so technically i have no problem waiting also you should check for what you use your device so if you want the best of the best you should spend a little bit more money for example if you some people edit videos on their phones i'm not one of them because my device is tiny compared to a laptop or a tablet so technically i don't want to do it but if you take high quality videos or pictures you need a lot of memory and also a better phone but if you only want to go to social media like take good quality pictures and maybe call someone if people use phones for that just lower the budget a bit i mean you don't need the best of the best if you're not gonna use absolutely everything on the phone i'm a fan of the brand and that's why i want to get an iphone and uh, here i have to say get your favorite brand literally your device is used for the same every phone you use it to scroll through social media call a friend and just take pictures okay every phone can do that so literally here i think that you should get your favorite brand but again check your budget because cell phones might be very expensive for number four i like to mention some accessories for example, you're a vlogger, every five days you post a vlog on YouTube. The new school year comes and you want to capture everything for your YouTube channel. You might need some accessories for that. For example, a tripod is a very good accessory which you need. I don't have one, but I'm willing to get one because honestly, I am putting my phone absolutely everywhere. In I take different objects to put my phone as a stand because I don't have one. I have a selfie stick, this also might be a good idea for you if you like taking selfies. It's an old device already, it was popular back in the days when it came out, like the newest gadget now is just a normal thing. I have tried to put my phone in it and somehow put it as a stand, but it's not the same as a tripod. Other thing which I haven't had since my iPhone 6s is a pop socket. It's a very handy thing, also you can use it as a stand if you're filming on your desk in school or somewhere else and this is one of the best gadgets out there they are still very affordable even tripods i found for like 10 bucks which is nothing so there are, these little accessories might help you and actually make your vlogging or whatever videos you're filming easier for you and i think that you actually might need them for number five i'll offer you something which for me is an accessory as well and it's a good pair of headphones. I don't have one. I am using my old earphones. Well, they came with my iPhone. When I travel, I like to listen to music a lot. So yes, I use earphones. I don't have AirPods or any other devices that way because I'm afraid that I will lose them. And here, I don't know about the other countries, but here, if you lose something and someone finds it, they keep it for themselves. People who actually will give it back are not much. So technically, I don't want to deal with all of this, but a pair of headphones is needed. For example, you work in a company, you went to your lunch break, but you need to get immediately into your meeting. It's very crowded, people are talking, so a good pair of headphones is needed, especially if they had noise cancellation. So my cousin let me try hers. I pretended that I can hear everything to prove her wrong, but no, I couldn't. I couldn't hear any of the things which she was saying. I was giving, yeah, mm -hmm. but no, I couldn't hear absolutely anything. And this is the coolest thing ever, so if I ever get headphones, I definitely will try with noise cancellation because this is the perfect opportunity for me and also it's an option if you're in a meeting or just wanted to ignore the people around you. I have checked the new AirPods Max by Apple. They're way overpriced if you ask me now. Never spend so much on a headphones, even if they are by Apple. I have found many other way cheaper opportunities which probably will do the same job. Also, I don't know why, but I like the part which you put in your ear to be in a circular shape. The AirPod Max are more like an oval, I don't know. It just, I prefer it to be like a damn circle, okay? 
I don't know what brand I will buy yet, if I ever buy, but a good pair of headphones is needed and I think that you won't regret buying one. Last but not least is for all my smart watches fans. If you need one, I recommend you wait for the newest version to come because I'm pretty sure soon we'll have many versions of the different brands. So waste your money when the new one comes, not with the one now. Personally, I don't use any watch. My hands are completely free. The only time when I have wore a watch was in kindergarten. It was a kid's watch. It wasn't even a smartwatch. It was just a basic with the numbers. That's it. But I don't like wearing watches, honestly. If you're a person who likes to go to the gym, to run, or basically do physical education things, like you're training, you might need a smartwatch to track your heart rate, your pulse, and all these things, which I don't understand. But I'm not the type of person who goes to the gym or likes training, so aka I don't need this device. But again, if you want one to have it just to track your steps, even if you want to, wait for the newest one to come because. Honestly, you feel like you paid money for something, but the newest one came and I'm like, seriously, I couldn't wait. And that's it basically with all the devices. But if you're a big fan of a smartwatch, again, choose your favorite brand here. We are not talking about what the watch can do because honestly, I feel like all the watches can do the same thing. It's just the design is different, depends on the brand. So yeah, choose your favorite brand and get your smartwatch. Okay guys, that was the end of the video, hope you enjoyed it. These are all my recommendations for tech gadgets which you might need for the start of the new school or university year. Comment down below which one was your favorite and which one you're looking for. If I have to talk about myself, which I did the whole video, I will buy a new phone. I don't need it, but I need a little bit more storage and that's why I'm looking to get a better phone, which of course will be the latest model. And that's where I always waste my money for. I have a tablet, I have a laptop, even we have a PC at home, which nobody uses, but we still have it. So I don't need anything else. And this is the only thing which I will buy. So that is for today. Like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.